Well, hello guys, I thought I'd make another video before the big heat comes and all my cables are gonna fry up. <laughs> well, I was just reading the news in the USA and, uh, and there's a sad story there where a young boy of six years old was killed because police were chasing this car and it crashed into this family of five or something. And you know the crazies are gonna say, well, if the police weren't chasing this guy, that poor little boy wouldn't have died. In other words, deflecting the fault of the person, really, who caused the problem. And it was the problem of the person that ran from the police. Not the police. They wouldn't be chasing him if this other person hadn't caused the problem. But I can hear them saying now we're supposed to stop all police chases and let them get away. It's safer that way. And unfortunately, that's the mindset of a femon brain, isn't it? Because to the non-logical brain, like a femon's, that makes sense. This is what's happening pretty well all over the Western world and Europe as well. This sort of wokeness in this non-common sense idea. But Femons have been doing it for centuries. They've been deflecting the blame. They've been taking no accountability. They can't admit when they're wrong. So they blame the nearest person, and it's usually a man, for all their problems. Then you hear stories like a person's on holiday and they've had too much to drink and they slip over and fall and they sue the travel agency. I mean, how ridiculous is that? It must be the travel agency fault. And if you look at the person, it's usually a femoral, isn't it? I mean, gun violence isn't the people, it's the guns. So let's get rid of the guns and then they'll use knives. Then they'll try and get rid of the knives, forgetting that it's the people that are creating the situation and causing the violence. But this mindset of taking no accountability for your actions is a femon trait and has been pushed by all femons everywhere, especially when they get into the governments. And the mindset is now, when somebody commits a crime, we're supposed to feel sorry for them. And it's just to shift the blame to somebody else, so you don't have to take any responsibility for your actions. And as we all know, that's the Femon's playbook, and always has been. And it's become to the crazy point where it doesn't pay to be an upright, honest citizen anymore. They've actually made it that crime actually does pay. I mean, when you listen to a lot of these videos of femons who can't find a good man anymore, nearly every one of them, it's not their fault. I mean, they're covered in tattoos. They've got rings hanging out their nose and everywhere else. They're overweight. They look masculine. They act masculine. And they're only looking for a man that actually has everything they want, and it's a long list. But you can be sure money is at the top of it. But they're so disillusional, it's still not their fault they can't find a man. But you see, this is what happens when you think only emotionally. The common sense seems to fly right out the window. And of course, femons won't stop moaning and yelling and whining, because that's what they do, isn't it? Now, of course, many, many years ago, it was only the husband that had to listen to it all, or the long-term boyfriend. But because of social media and everything, we all have to listen to it, day in, day out. So, for instance, look at it this way. When a director makes a film, quite a big film, and lots of people don't like it, instead of the director thinking to themselves, oh, I got that a bit wrong, I'll do better next time, they come out on social media and blame the people that watched it. You see, I don't know, I'm a bit stupid, I guess, but I thought it was the director's job to do a good job to make a good film for people that they wanted. But with the woke and the feminism, that doesn't work that way anymore. It's to shift blame to somebody else. And I don't understand why lots of people don't see what's really going on. Everywhere there's drama and problems and crazy laws, you will find a femon at the end of it. A lot of femons that even I know are professional activists. They go from one cause to another, but it's nothing really to do about the cause. It's just getting people together, mostly all femons, to create chaos and drama, and of course to grab attention. And because they're morally inert, they don't care how many people's lives they ruin or cause stress to. And most of these femon activists that I know, uh, not very well of course, some of them have a man, but not a very strong man, if you know what I mean. 
And like I say, it does make you wonder why some other countries have slightly different laws for femons. And those countries will still be here when all the other countries have fallen. And of course, the good news is it hasn't quite reached this wokeness and everything in a lot of Asian countries. So men are going to Asia to look for a decent femon. But they make the mistake of finding one and bringing them back to their country. And a lot of famines don't have a deep character built into them. They sort of mimic where they are. And this Asian famine, who's in the Western world now for some time, starts acting just like the Western famines do. And the man is back to square one. I knew this many years ago when I lived in Thailand, that a Thai famine was only good and great in Thailand. You take them out of Thailand, they'll become just like all the others. And I saw that happen time and time again. So anyway, guys, you protect your wallets out there. Because the Western and European famons, that's all they're after from you. They don't want you. They want your money. I mean, they've been scamming men for years, haven't they? We all know stories where a man's been taken to the cleaners by a famon. And the chaos and drama and the mess will continue until society makes femons accept responsibility and accountability for their actions. The same thing for criminals. If there's no deterrent, there's no reason to stop. Is there? Oh, you men can find your soulmate in a femon. How much money you got? And the soulmate will last as long as your money does. And unfortunately, in most cases of femons, that is the sad truth. And no wonder so many femons of today are miserable and angry. You take it easy, fellas. Bye-bye.